Welcome back to Making a Difference on Buzz TV. I'm Mike White. Joining me today is Karen Fagans. Welcome to the program. So glad to be here. So Karen, you've been with PNC Bank for about four months now. Mm -hmm. Talk about the experience there because you've been in media for ever, ever. Yes, so I was at WJCT for about 13 years and made this transition. My job at PNC is community and client relations. So a lot of the work that I was doing at WJCT was really involved in the arts and nonprofit community. I got to know a lot of people and that's transferring very well to this new job. So Leadership Jacksonville, you were the class of? 2016, the 20, best class. The almost best class. <laughs> so what did you learn going through the year-long program with Leadership Jacksonville? Well, I learned a lot, but I think the most important thing was the friendships and the connections that I made through the program. My class is pretty unique in that we've all really stayed in touch. We had, you know, a happy hour last week and 13 people showed up. So, you know, we we really like have a text group and everybody stays involved and it's helped us in many ways to benefit the community just through those connections that we made with Leadership Jacksonville. Any nonprofits that are close to your heart? Many. Um, and it's, it's hard to list a few, but um, obviously WJCT, because I was there for so long, it's a great organization that benefits a lot of people in this community. Um, I'm on the board of the Early Learning Coalition of Duval, and that is making sure that kids have access to quality early learning. And that's something that's really important to PNC. Um, our big initiative is called Grow Up Great, and we really focus on zero to five and making sure that all kids have access to quality early learning because you can make such a difference in that time before kindergarten. If kids start behind in kindergarten, they're gonna be behind for the rest of the time in school. So really trying to get to kids early. I'm also on the board of the Five and Dime, which is a theater company. Amazing. An amazing organization, right? They really push the boundaries for theater in Jacksonville. They have a great space in downtown Jacksonville. So those would be my top three. So do you act at all? I do not. My kids do. Right. My kids are theater kids, but I've never really been an actor. And so I was going to ask, when you're not working, what do you enjoy <laughs> doing? But between PNC, the kids, the Five and Dime, all the different nonprofits, so, so what do you do to relax and unwind? Yeah, really, I spend a lot of time with my children. They're um, 11 and 8, and so they take up a lot of time. Uh, but when I do have time to do other things, I like to see movies and kayak. And the restaurant in Jacksonville that we could find you on a date night, where do you go in Jacksonville? Oh, there are so many good places, but I'll just say where we went on the last date night. We went to Sunray Cinema. Okay. And that's always a great place to go, and then to the rooftop at Black Sheep. Wonderful. Uh, Jacksonville's had so many great restaurants open up, and it's always something new. Um, we've become such a great market for craft food and mm -hmm. dining. So um, if someone wants to find out more about PNC Bank, where would they go? Well, I would suggest uh, that you Google Grow Up Great and take a look at some of the philanthropic initiatives that we're doing in this community. Um, we're really excited to be growing in the Jacksonville community, and you'll see more of us around, that's for sure. Thank you for joining us on the program today, and thank you for watching the Jacksonville Buzz. We'll see you next time.